Well, hello everyone, David Cross uh, with BT. And I wanted to uh, make a couple of real quick short videos to show you some of the uh, capabilities of IP control, specifically around the API layer. And also to talk about Node-RED in terms of the cloud automation and one of the workflows that I'm using that uh, real simple process that I found very useful for me as an engineer dealing with IP addresses to quickly query an IP address that I see in a log and to be able to determine from this IP control instance, what is this IP address so that I can do something with it or move on to the next IP or other checks that I do. So what I've found uh, through Bash is that you can create functions and aliases that you know, simplify commands that you can call on the command line to query and, and or run functions. So I have curl on my machine. You'll need to have that on yours as well. And I have a bash a, a RC script, a dot bash RC in my home directory. And I have two functions. The who is IP command, which is calling a curl node red instance that I have in this uh, back view that is effectively doing an API query into our, our database IP control. So if you're not familiar with IP control, it's a British Telecom Diamond IP, IP address management that we allow you to uh, manage your network subnets, IPs, DNS, DHCP. So for those who do know, <laughs> back to this. So we have an API effectively that allows us to do query by IP address. So I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to look at that and see how simple we can make it. And here it is. So uh, take a snapshot and this is the function and you can add that in VI, the bash RC if you have that capability. Now, once you source that, after you've done that work, and you do who is IP, which is the, the address, I'm going to do who is IP, my router address. And this is going to pull up and shows me the instant database. So through JQ, that JSON processor, uh, this shows me it's an interface off my router uh, or a switch in this particular case, RV320, the ID, and some other details. Now, I might want to format this, obviously, a little bit differently so that it makes a pretty display for the engineer easier to read than just uh, JSON, right? But that's the simplicity of this. So that's the real simple thing of that. And then the other part of uh, that command was who, uh, who am I? Which is that actually making a call into the database does the same thing and effectively determines what the IP address of this call is originating from by it's connecting to the web source that does the query to the IP, pulls that out and then queries into the database. Uh, so again, for engineers, security admins who are constantly looking at logs, if you're not tracking your IP addresses, this is a great way to do it through IP control. And then we have a tool called the Cloud Automation Appliance uh, that I'm using this to build the various workflows that I can call into when I do this work. Okay, so I wanted to get that over just real quick. And if you want more information about it, I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but feel free to give me a shout through email or what have you, and I'll be more than happy to fill in the details. And um, I will, uh, and I'm working on this right now, my GitHub. So I'll make these nodes available through some of these demo uh, meetings and make it a little bit more formal for you as well. So, hey, just a quick note. And if you're an engineer out there of any interest, uh, let me know. Take care. Have a great day.